inheritance we will discuss about multi path inheritance so among the six type of inheritance this one is the last one that is multi path inheritance in the previous video lectures we have discussed about single multiple multi level hierarchical and hybrid inheritance so in case of multi path inheritance basically a derived class with two base classes and these two base class have one common base class are there so in the diagram you can see there are two derived class class b and class c and uh, these two derived class has been derived from the class a which is a common base class and from class b and class c again class d is being derived so as per the definition a derived class has two base class like class d has two base class class b and class c which is derived from a common base class that is class a so this is a multi path inheritance and uh, sometimes ambiguity may occur in c++ when we execute this multiple inheritance and this ambiguity may arises due to some confusion for the compiler and uh, these two base class have more than one base class that's why the ambiguity may occur so let's discuss one example in this example class a is being defined inside that we have taken a public data integer a then another class b is defined and which is publicly inherited from class a and it is containing one public data b another class c is inherited from class a and uh, it is containing a public data int c from b and c from class b and c two data has been from b and c one class has been derived that is class d which is containing one public data integer d so this is the class d definition class class d colon public class b public class c so this is a diamond kind of structure you can imagine so this is also otherwise known as diamond problem in c++ and uh, in the void main function we need to create the object for the derived class so here for class d we have created the object obj and one copy of b and one copy of c has been received at the derived class d so in other sense we can say that multiple number of copies for a particular data has been received or inherited to class d so this may create ambiguity this may create confusion for the compiler so in this statement it may occur error if we will write object dot a equal to 10 object dot a equal to 100 so this may create error this two statement may create error so to remove this confusion or to remove this ambiguity we can adopt this formula like object dot class b scope resolution operator then a equal to 10 so that we can say that the a value equal to 10 has been inherited from class b similarly object dot class c scope resolution operator equal to 100 so a value that is 100 has been inherited from class c so it is basically removing the error or it is removing the ambiguity or confusion for the compiler it is totally specifying that it has inherited from class b and class c respectively and uh, similarly other values can also be accessed and uh, we can also written we can also write the value like this object dot class b scope resolution a object dot class c scope resolution c after execution of this particular program it will display the output as a from class b equal to 10 a from class c equal to 100 b equal to 20 c equal to 30 and d equal to 40 so it is basically removing the ambiguity by using scope resolution operator with class name 
and another method can also we can adopt to remove this confusion that is using virtual base class also this ambiguity can be removed about virtual base class in C++ we will discuss in the next video lecture thank you